What's up YouTube, Mike here with People's Choice Gaming, and today guys I want to do a tutorial for you for the Family Matters quest, uh, Botch or Kill, and uh, Hardest Difficulty. Now, you're going to get two options guys, and it's not going to matter, I thought it would, but it won't. You can decide to kill him right now, or to turn him into Lubberkin. Even if you turn him into Lubberkin, little spoiler here, you're going to get halfway back up to the house, and then basically he's going to turn into uh, a Botch again, anyways, you're going to have to fight him. Now... If you read the BCR, it tells you you need to do the telekinesis um, uh, sign, and that's effective against them. And I tried doing that, and but basically, fire just dealt more damage, and I was able to get him down quicker because he hit so hard on the toughest of difficulty. So I figured it was just like how some mobs maybe poisons better against them, but you could still use other stuff, and it's still really strong or stronger. So I figured you know you didn't have to get in his mind. That was just a tactic to fight him. Well, I was wrong because even after I died many, many, many times, like 10 times, because the different stages are so tough, I finally got through the first and second stage, got to the last stage, and then he got halfway down in health, and he kept getting spikes, regenerating health, and then every time I hit him when he was enraged, I got hurt, and then he got full health, and I thought it was bugged. I could not beat it. And now I know why, because you have to do the telekinesis. Not during the whole fight, only when he reaches the last stage, basically when he basically when he becoming when he comes enraged. I think he might come enraged too in the second stage, but only when he starts regenerating health. It's really important to do the telekinesis. So here's the second stage I'm jumping into. Um, the first stage is super easy. Usually I'll just pop um, if I need to. I'll pop a couple you know breads or whatnot. I won't. I think I'm level six. I don't have any oils on or nothing like that. And you don't need to like slow him down. Telekinesis is not like that. All you got to do is get near him. I do fire spell because it does a lot of damage to Ignis. And then I basically do like a heavy attack. And then I block. I block until he hits me. And then I do um, another, you know, heavy attack. Block, heavy attack, fire, fire, da, 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 da. And make sure you have full health before he gets halfway down. Because that's when he goes into stage 2. Now in stage 2 instantly like go to your signs and go to the magic trap magic trap is going to slow all these enemies down uh this is a tactic i think that works well and um but still you don't really want to be crowded like i am now it makes it kind of rough because he's going to mess you up i kind of like to kite get away from him then set up a magic trap they'll they'll teleport over to you and the reason the magic trap is nice is because when they teleport to it they slow down otherwise they're going to teleport to you and do like three strikes that'll take all your health away especially on death march and there's nothing you can really do about it and it's just so freaking hard so it slows them down and then i like to pop one of the green potions that um uh what do the green potions do um the green potions that increase your attack power or whatever and then, basically, I'll switch after doing uh, the magic trap. I'll switch right into fire. I'll throw a fire out, do some good damage AoE to all of them. Uh, do a heavy attack. And then jump right into fast attacks. I don't like to do too many heavy attacks because it's too slow and exaggerated for these fast mobs. And you'll find your groove. But I like a heavy attack and a bunch of fast attacks. And even if your health's going down, don't get scared and run. Because the way these guys kite around, you will never win. You have to do good damage without losing too much health and get it off um on the the ras race whatever they're called like the first time and then jump right into a bunch of fast attacks and once you get one killed move on to the next one move on to the next one you want to they you got to get them killed quick without losing too much health after that's done you're good to kite cuz you're back to only fighting um uh the little fetus looking thing so at that point stage three last stage go kite around again kite around and uh, keep you know eating potatoes drinking waters and stuff like that which you should be fully stocked if you're going to do this fight on death march of those things and uh get your health full then go up to him and start fighting him now you can do the same tactic as you did before go up to him start with uh throwing a fire out at him this is best for damage. And then after you throw a fire, it's the fire actually does stun a little bit. Do a heavy attack, another heavy attack. You will be able to get two heavy attacks off for maximum damage. 
and get and crit and everything and then i usually can get one or two fast strikes and then i jump right into a block and if you do that you'll block you will not get hit by him you keep following this routine and you'll have him down to half health in no time um once you got him down to half health though basically this is the problem so many people are running into he is going to go into regenerate mode he gets he gets spikes and he starts regenerating health like mad and you, your damage can't keep up with how fast he regenerates. I think in a video right now, he's doing it. He's regenerating. And basically, um, every time you hit him, you lose health. And I thought the game was bugged. I did the fight for freaking like an hour. Just kept getting nowhere at that last stage. Now, that last stage is where it is 100% necessary that you have to use the telekinesis. But still, not through the whole fight. You basically switch to the telekinesis, you use it on them, and instead of it just getting in their mind like it would anyone else, it's it's needed for this boss, and it's going to calm him. And when it calms him, he goes back to the little baby fetus, you know, like he doesn't have spikes and shit, he's not regenerating, and then it's back to what I said, you know, throw out an Ignis spell, heavy, heavy, fast, fast, go to block. And then that's it, you know, just corner him and keep doing that, and you'll have him dead in no time. Um, I'll skip through the, the video here real quick. Jump to, uh, um, let me see, jump to where I, I think started, because uh, I might have died. I'll jump to, or the fight just might be a little bit long here. I'll jump to where he's a little, uh, a little closer to dying. But you see how I'm doing it. This is, uh, what I think is the best way to do it. So let me jump forward for a second. And here you go. It's uh, I saved a little bit of time here and got his health down more. And it really didn't take that long. It's a couple minutes or something. And there you go. End of the fight. All over with. So I hope this helped out, guys. Um, I'm just going to be basically heading back into the town here. And uh, word of advice, because a lot of towns don't have um, a good amount of like water or bread or whatnot. Like water is really expensive, but I noticed uh, potatoes are like my are my favorite because they're the cheapest and also ten seconds and give a good bit of health. I think I think it's ten seconds. Um, and in this town here, around where the armor smiths and everything are, there's a uh, a guy there that sells like 15 potatoes and you can get them for cheap. Buy them all. Exit out. Go back in. You can buy them all again and just stock up a tons of them. You're definitely going to need shit like that for the Death March. Um, doing, uh, you know, all the... And especially if, like, because I haven't side quested at all. So it's it's been even 10 times harder. But I've still got through all the bosses and uh, all these main quests without pretty much side questing. And um, you can, and in most places you go to, they might have like five onions, five otters. You buy them, you go back in, you can't buy anymore. They don't have them, even if you wait a while. Also, if you don't know, if you meditate for 12 hours, your green potion for the attack power, and then the, the really good red potion, um, the ones you have three of, they regenerate. And you get them all back. So meditate for 12 hours to get that. But anyways, you're going to head back up here. And basically, you're going to finish your quest out. You got to go talk to Peller or do a ritual and da 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 da. But I just wanted to help you guys out with fighting this uh, boss. So once you realize, you know, that you have to do the telekinesis to calm him, there you go. It's not unbeatable. He just has to be calm real quick. You go back to fight him the best way possible. And if you already knew that, honestly, the hardest part of the fight is the second stage when the what three or four race come after you they just lay in the damage so it does help slowing them down pop an attack power pop in a health pot instantly and then start fire heavy attack fast 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 screw kiting try to kill them as quick as possible unless you have to kite because you missed a few attacks and uh yeah i'm gonna head out please comment like subscribe i got a lot more videos to come um including black desert here soon i just started playing that and my with my guild and uh, hope you guys are having fun on The Witcher. Make sure to check out my Twitch stream. Link will be in the description of my Twitch. And uh, I'm out. Peace.